call the meeting to order. Are there any additions or adjustments to the agenda? Uh, I've got one of a, uh, a uh, possible executive session to discuss uh, the appointment of a prospective employee. Okay. Executive session? Yeah. Uh, and I also want to bring up the town meeting, whether it's in person or it's on the ballot. Okay. Any other additions or adjustments? Nope. Yep. Let's get right into it. Review uh, 20, this year 24 uh, in budget. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I think all the board got the this notification, um, but there is one change that is not reflected in the budget. Uh, we got the tax update from the county just minutes before this meeting started. So the line 184 decreases from 25,723 to 23,985. I'm going to have to have your line 184. Line 184. So it goes from 25,723 to 23,985. 985. Yep. And that's a known, uh, that's a. That, that is a. Yes. Yep. And that's going to cascade down through change budget number, change amount to be raised by taxes, yada yada. Yeah. Yep. I have that if you'd like it. The total expenditure and the amount to be raised by taxes. Yes. Can you can can we do the total budget first? Sure. Total budget is now three million. Three hundred forty-one thousand one hundred twenty dollars and twenty-two cents. Okay. The amount to be raised by taxes is two million. Too many pages. Yep. We don't have a small budget. Two million. Two million eighty four thousand eight hundred sixty eight and seventy nine cents. So two zero eight four eight six eight. Yep. And those numbers are reflected on the warning. they're reflected on the warning. Um, so we gave a signed copy of the warning, but they're not reflected in the budget because we just didn't have enough time. And are those the only changes from the one that you sent out earlier, which was? Earlier today, the one I sent out earlier today, that's the only change. Okay. Did Susan find anything um, good? She usually finds I'm Mostly no, Susan continue. focused on a couple uh, Estimated final numbers that there were a couple fixes there. Okay. Uh, a couple of things with the uh, the dollar amounts in the current year. Next year looked good to her reading. Um, we can transition over to talking about the equipment fund. Did the changes that she found have? any significant impact on that estimated year-end number? Uh, it impacted it. I would not characterize it as a significant increase. Looks like a few hundred dollars. Yeah. Okay, so it went down rather than up. Yeah, our, we're still running a surplus, but our, our surplus is lower by, I think, a few hundred dollars. Okay. Seven hundred. Sounds about right. So we also got like 
between Friday and today, we have three versions of the draft. Is there any other changes that were made? Uh, the other changes on here that I made was a recent copy. I think it was marked in the email uh, which version I, I made some updates to the uh, expenses for this year for uh, capital equipment, the, the interest and principal payments shifted a little bit on. Okay. Uh, with, with money in, money out? Yeah. So, okay. And those, once you total them up, what you're bringing in from the reserve fund equals the interest and in principal amounts of the budget? Yes, it does. Okay. Are we ready to transition over to the equipment fund? Yep. Okay. Oh. Devin, you have a question? Uh, no, I just made a connection in my mind. Okay. Keep going. So on the equipment fund, we have, um, yeah, we have updated numbers for the internationals and the pickup. Those are, are some pretty big changes that those are considerably more expensive than we paid for them in the past. Um, some of these invoiced amounts, we have had difficulty backtracking what the original, what we paid for them. I know we didn't pay, I'm pretty confident we didn't pay actually $19,000 for the last pickup. I think it was a little bit more than that, but having trouble finding what that amount is without the trade-in value. Um, oh, our invoices right. want to show what the money out was for that. Um, that would so, look more like it could have been a net. <laughs> I, I think it is. Um, that's our invoiced amount for the truck, but I do not believe that we actually paid that little for it. But that, with those increases, that did go on to inform the scheduled payments for equipment going out into the future. And it's not not good news. Um, yeah, the the I want to be a little bit optimistic here that it's probably not as bad as it looks. I did not increase our trade in values to the same degree that I increased our expenses. Um, I increased our trade in value uh, minor amounts uh, and. Yeah, you can see that our our vehicles are are close to doubling in cost uh, the next time we're we're purchasing them. So, so all of this to me just brings up the the fact that we need to take a good hard look at this when we redo our capital budget and plan and Certainly. Plug and in some better I'm numbers. I'm glad that what we're done now is we do have a little bit of roadway. It's not like we're going negative next year. But we certainly need to. It seem like the kind next of year's board needs to discuss that. Yeah. Now. Pick a number. Yeah, I don't like that. Minus 85,000. Yeah. Yeah. That's gone from 62,000 to minus 85. Certainly. 60,000, 75,000 a year, whatever it is. Seems like it's something you could just plug in. And... Yeah, we'll try a couple different scenarios about, you know, how much do we want to increase each year? The the Right now we're increasing $7,000 a year. Um, we've been at that number for about five or six years. We went up to 7,000 not long after I came to Johnson. Um, yeah, there's nothing magic about that number. It was just... Seems like it's gonna have to be... Yeah, it, it's gonna have to increase again. Uh, the equipment is, costs are rising too fast. This is a small point, but the foreman's pickup replacement in 2930, I believe it's supposed to be 3031. I thought that was on a five-year rotation, not four. 
it's not going to change the end numbers. Um, I think it is on a five year rotation and I can move it out. Um, if it got moved out a year, it would help. Um, with that year. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, but, but it, it does. Because the contribution goes up the following year, it might level out a curve a little bit. And the other, again, I mean, I think this is a conversation for next year's budget. next year's budget. Uh, another thought that I had in looking at that, we're taking that full amount directly out of the reserve fund. That is a that's an item that would absolutely qualify for the municipal equipment to present money. So it's at least something we could talk about. Points. Yeah. yeah. I did run this very rough numbers. Uh, if we started borrowing for the truck instead of paying for it outright, and it's not healthy still out in the future, but it would not turn negative. Yeah, I, I have no doubt that we're going to have to increase our in in it. So two two observations. One. And I think I asked you at the last board meeting, Evan, whether you wanted to increase the fund for the current budget year by 10. And I think I asked whether you were thinking that we'd increase that going forward and you thought we should deal with one year at a time. Well, um, there needs to be a comprehensive look at this Yeah, by next year's board. Yeah. I can't speak for next year's board. Yeah. So. I, so in your, your figures, don't add the 10,000 to ongoing years. They don't. I, uh, in conversations with Beth, we landed on estimating next year at a little bit higher than it would have been in sequence, uh, because it, if we kept the same sequence, it would our contribution would actually go down next year. So our assumption was that we wouldn't, it wouldn't go down. That looking at a. a a forecast like this, justifying putting less money into it was not realistic. Okay. So my my other observation, which is really more of a question than an observation, in in twenty nine thirty, in one of the versions you sent us, I think maybe Friday, um, that negative number was 62,000. Why did it go from minus 62,000 to minus 85,000? What, what is it that triggered that? I think that was the increased foreman truck replacement. Am I wrong it, about that? I made a few changes. I tried to document all the changes I was making in the emails I sent each version out. Um, Guess I didn't see that. I made changes to, uh, there were a couple items that I needed to adjust the year that the loan was expiring, that we had one or two of those that were expiring on the wrong year that uh, had gotten shifted over. So I fixed that. Um, and yeah, the, the loan amounts that I, I got for the trucks also went up. Um, so we saw a lot of increases there. I don't know which. I'd have to go back into my notes and see specifically what the difference is between the two. I suspect that it's what you said first, because I think there were only five items, uh, five total loans in the 29, 30 year. And if you if you back. Uh, hmm. Well, anyway. Um, it's clear that we need more work on this. <laughs> yeah, this is what's going in the town report. Does the board want that second replacement of the foreman truck pushed out to a five-year rotation, or do we want this to be in the town report? I'll, I will say that that one is... This board is not held to decisions of prior boards. The truck replacement... Our next truck replacement is being made on the sixth year instead of the fifth year. Right. Pick pickup? Yeah. So we could just 
that's why it's showing up in, in four years instead of five years, because it's five years from when it was supposed to be replaced. I would anticipate that there's going to be a voter that asks questions about this. And if I was in best shoes, I would just talk to it. And I would just go forward with it right now, like it is, and just talk to it and say, we've got to look at the whole you know, uh, equipment, major equipment plan, replacement plan, and as well the uh, reserve fund. Because I mean, we could tweak it a little bit here and there now, but there are some serious issues all the way up through. So it's the whole thing's going to be relooked at, and I, I would just talk to that to the voters. Um, we know it's healthy for this year and next year, a couple of years. Next year's board will have to yeah. take it up. Are there any more questions on the budget, or are we moving on to our next item, which is the warning? Do we need a motion to approve and put this in? Uh, traditionally, the board has approved the budget. The budget number's in the morning, but if you want to approve the budget, I would entertain a motion. I would move to approve the budget as presented. With the noted changes? Yes, with the, the noted county changes. For the county. All right, we have a motion. Do we have a second? Is the actual figure to be in the motion? We could. Probably should be. I would think so. Can you just pull it right off the warning? Oh, um, the number, correct me if I'm wrong, Brian, but approve a budget with total expense of three million three hundred forty-one thousand one uh, three hundred forty-one thousand one hundred and twenty twenty-two. I get it right. That's great. Yeah. You get it. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Actually, I couldn't pull it off the warning because we changed it at the beginning of the meeting, right? Yeah. Yeah. The one I sent by email. We had it. <laughs> Very last minute change. I second that. All right, motion to second. Any further discussion? All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed? <laughs> okay. Okay. Very good. Next item is reviewing the town meeting warning and approving it. Um, I, if I can recommend, I think we probably want to have the discussion about in person or not first. Because uh, the warning will change. Yeah, everything. I guess it would change. It could, yeah, it would. So well, I had an after, but uh, the governor uh, last week, I think, uh, signed uh, a temporary measure allowing select boards to uh, allowing towns to go to Australian ballot and not hold in-person meetings for town meeting again this year. He did sign it. He yes. did sign okay. it. <clears throat> Reluctantly. Uh, Reluctantly. Reluctantly. <laughs> we can take the board's thoughts <laughs> pretty quickly. Mark? Why did why do you why did you reluctantly sign it? You didn't want to you wanted towns to really have in-person meetings? Mark. I'm just curious. I would it change your decision? I would like just more information. Yeah, I, I would like to know more. Um, I think there was some school school right. information in that. I generally so school like, board. I generally like your first meetings. I would be did so, not like if you asked me to vote right now. It was like, more for the school. Okay, more for people. Yeah, Eric, what are your thoughts on the matter? I I feel very comfortable having in person. Yeah. Duncan. I'm I'm in favor of doing it in person. I am too. So I the general consensus. Is there any public comment? I guess we're having it in person. Okay. Good. All right. Make so. Pizza. And pizza. I can't make pizza. No, you'll be busy. So for the warning, um, we made a couple of changes. Uh, that were requested by the board, adding the second estimated. Um, Rosemary, you had a change. Yeah, there are minor changes. Yeah. Um, 
But I believe that we have covered all changes. We got the right times on the polling and you know, all that. Seven to nine, nine to seven. Nine to seven. Yep. Uh, Tuesday, March seventh, nine o'clock a.m. Have you checked with David Manning, the principal? I haven't spoken to David. I thought you usually no. You know, do you not disclose any additional requirements? Well, they've been asking lies or yeah. something like that. They've been allowing sports back mm -hmm. uh, with no restrictions. Okay. Well, it would be good if somebody contacts mm -hmm. him and lets him know that we'd like to reserve yeah. the gym that day. <laughs> Town used to own it. Yeah. Not that gymnasium. Before you were born. Yeah, before he was born. Oh, wow. That's right. <laughs> That's ageism, Mark, and that's not okay. <laughs> Any comments on the warning? Make a motion, except the warning is presented. Second. Motion and a second. Any further comments? All those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. All those opposed? You know, without Beth, these meetings go <laughs> You've been waiting to say it. <laughs> Somebody want to, you want to, you want to start a signature copy? Can We can sign any one of these, right? Yeah. Yeah, none of these have a packet page printed on them, so they're all good for signing. Yeah, leave the first one blank for Beth. Has anybody seen the final patrol budget? Bad, we hit the bad pad. We didn't get a final one? I haven't seen a final one for the town report. No. I'll ask that. Oh, for the report. Yeah. Got communications, but not. How long is the patrol meeting in the last one? All day. Meeting? Six or seven hours. It usually it lasts till just after lunch. Because there's, there's, there's no school meeting, right? Yep. We haven't had that for years. I know. Yeah. Ten hours. Yeah. It usually I still spend. lasts a little after lunch. Okay. Well, we usually eat lunch and come back to finish a few hours. So, yeah. Any other business? Uh, I'm looking at this, I can see us being done by 10.30. Maybe. Yeah. Depends on who's there and what they have to say. And, uh, I work on people down Okay, and there's another item for potential executive session. Entertain a motion. Make a motion. We enter into executive session to discuss employee review as, and under the uh, authorization. From Three one three eight three. That one BSA. Motion on the floor. Is there a second? Second. All right. Motion and a second. Any further discussion? The board. Hang on one second. The board is entering executive session at six fifty four.